One common thing you might like to do when you're testing your components is avoid using external resources. So for example, if you're fetching some data using Axios or Fetch, you might like to avoid doing that because unit tests like to run in isolation. You don't want to have a database or a server to rely on. So I'm going to show you some techniques to work around making API calls and test your components. The first thing we're going to do, however, is simplify our, our existing components because we've got quite a lot of code here we're not using anymore. The first thing I'm going to do is head over to app and I'm going to delete this post ID down here. We're also going to delete this computed property because we don't need it anymore. And let's go ahead and remove these imports because they're not being used either. The next thing I'm going to do is head back to my test and update the mounting options and remove the test we don't need anymore. I'm going to delete this test down here and we're going to remove the mox mounting option as well. So let's go ahead and delete that, save this one off and everything is now passing. What I'm going to do now is create a new component. So I'm going to run touch on tests unit and we're going to create a new component called fetcher. And this is going to make an API call. Let's head over to Fetcher now and update it. The first thing we're going to do is create a template and that is going to contain a single div and this is not actually going to do anything when it's mounted. We're now going to create a script tag in here and we're going to make an API call on mounted. So we're going to export default for our default export and we're going to have mounted in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and import Axios from Axios. I've already installed this but you can install it if you haven't by running yarn at Axios. Inside of here, I'm now going to say axios.get and we're going to make an API call to some imaginary server. Let's save this one off now and head back to app and use our new component. The first thing I'm going to do is jump up here and we're going to import fetcher and that one is going to come from fetcher.view, the component we just created. I'm now going to go ahead and register that in the components key by passing in fetcher here. Let's go ahead now and render this in our template. So I'm going to jump up here and render the fetcher component. And if we save this one off now, we're going to see something different in our test output. It's actually trying to make a network request to a server that doesn't exist. So we're getting this error here. Let's see a few ways we can work around this. I'm going to head back to my spec file now. And what we'd like to do is verify that the Axios call is made, but we don't want to use a real client and we don't want to make a real API request. The first thing I'm going to do is jump down here and write a new test. The test is going to say it makes an API call. So I'm going to say makes an API call. And what we're going to do is change our assertion in here. We're going to expect that a function which I'm going to call mock get has been called. So I'm going to say two have been called. Now let's go ahead and run this and this should be failing because we haven't called the mock get function. You can see mock get is not even defined. So let's go ahead and define that. I'm going to define it up here. We're going to say const mock get is equal to jest.function, which is going to be a mock function. If I save this one off now, you can see it's failing. It's expected to call one time or more, but it's only getting zero calls. So the next thing we're going to do is mock our Axios module because we're still calling that real API down here, which is really not ideal. I'm going to jump in here and say jest.mock and we're going to mock out the Axios module and this has to return an object and we can pass in our own implementation, very similar to the mocks and provide example I showed you earlier. We're going to mock the get function and this is just going to be a function and it's going to call our mock get function for us here. Let's go ahead and save this off and see what happens. And now everything is passing. What's happening here is if I head over to the uh, fetcher component, it's going to be mocking this import here. So instead of using the real Axios, we're going to use our temporary mock. What's going to happen then is it's going to call this mock version here. It's going to call the get function and call this mock get function here. And that means this is going to register as being called. And when we make our assertion down here, it's going to expect it has been called. And that is correct. One thing we might like to do is reset this every time a test run. So for example, if I was to jump down here and say it was called once and we save this off, it is going to pass. Or well, apparently it's not going to, it should actually be called times and pass in one. And that's going to assert that it's been called one time. But you can see here, it's actually getting called three times. The problem is we're calling it in mount. So it's called every time we mount the component here, here, and here. So what we're going to do is reset the mock every time this test runs. I'm going to create a before each hook and this is going to run before each test. And then we're just going to reset our get, our mock get. So I'm going to say mock get is equal to jest.fn and reset it again. I'm going to now change this to be let so I can reassign it. And if I save this one off, everything is now passing. What's going to happen here is before each test runs, it's going to reassign this to a new jest function, which is going to have zero calls. And that way when I jump down here and make my assertion, it's only going to have been called once.